Hi, this is Chris. I'm going to show you the admin panel for Epic Flex as it stands right now. Um, this is the source code in Flex Builder. Uh, it's an Adobe Air app run right from the desktop. To show you how things have been functioning so far. The last couple of weeks I've been dealing with nothing but video. Blip, we support Blip. TV videos, YouTube videos, and server-based videos. This is the editor itself. I've got all my objects up here. Right now I've got eight or nine. Um, by the time I'm done with this, this year, I'll probably have about 30 objects I can put in. But these are all the core objects I could possibly need for right now that make rather decent looking posts. This will clear the workspace, save the server, load from server, upload me. These are all the active objects. Uh, you'll see in a minute when I load a post and icons I can insert into a post I can insert them, remove them, have none edit them after the fact and such this is the editor itself where the content is um, now everything that I do in this admin panel is uh, handled on the back end with an engine that writes the non-flash version so if I write a new post when I complete it, the back end will write that same post as a non-flash HTML version. Same thing if I edit it. You know, uh, anybody without Flash 10 gets redirected to a non-flash version of the site. You know, we're trying to be a little more friendly to people that can't get in than I was years ago. Uh, so let me show you. Now it assumes when I load it that I'm going to write a new post, but uh, let me load up a few posts I've already written. You can see the editor. This is my most recent one, which has a YouTube video in it. Now, YouTube, for years, I would write a back end that would grab the path to the video and send it right to a Spark video player. But, you know, it's just they change their API, that the way they handle the path so much, it just becomes a headache. So I've given in this year and decided just just use an embedded player, which poses its own set of problems mainly unloading and having the interface react to that embedded player uh, which I think I've got a pretty good handle on this is one right here I can preview okay, what I've written so this is Joseph Lebrick, the video itself right from the editor I, over here is the objects that are in this post text object which I can edit or the video which I can edit since I haven't done a search I can just search for something else I want. Searching. It'll hit YouTube, give me a list of returns, I can select something from the list. If I like this video, I can swap it right out. Boom, change the video. If I don't like this, now that I've done a search, it'll remember I've searched bring that list back up for me. I can search for something else or pick something else from the list. Just edit it out. Once I've got the post where I want, I can save it to server. Change the title or just save it. Just overwrite the old version. And the back end will write the non-flash version and update it. I can rearrange objects. I can put the video above the text. Just drag and drop it. Or the text above the video like it originally was. If I want to clear the workspace, load another one, I can just pick something else. So objects, you know, the, the problem building all the objects is it's just not a matter of inserting an object into the post. You have to handle the back end, sending it back in so you can re-edit it. Everything from a button to a horizontal rule to an image. Every single object can be re-edited after the fact. I'll clear the workspace. Um, now, blipped videos and server based videos are sent right to a Spark video player. Blip isn't as crazy about their paths as YouTube is. They're getting a little worse, they're getting a little more commercial, but for now, it's pretty easy to get a hold of the path to the video, so these are going right to a Spark player. Visually, to me, on the admin side, it looks just like the YouTube works the same way, functions the same way.
search is the same one. Searching. Let's me know if blip is available. You know, using a air monitor. And I can insert the video again, edit it. I can delete objects from the list. Things like that. Server videos, I just choose from the list. icons in any post I can just put in up to 10 I'm supporting just randomly pick or pick ones I like or things that I feel match the post reclick them over here and I can put them back in and choose something else and that's pretty much admin as it stands uh, I'll hand this over to William my partner, he'll do a little nicer layout for me. I'll focus on nothing but objects for the next couple of months. I got, I got some cool ones planned. Um, but that's where we're at right now. And uh, I thank you for watching.